to standardize hydrochloric acid using sodium carbonate solution. Rinse the glassware with distilled water. Rinse the burette with a little of the hydrochloric acid solution. Clamp the burette vertically using a burette clamp and retort stand. Place a filter funnel in the top of the burette and filter just below the zero graduation mark with a hydrochloric acid, ensuring a continuous column of liquid from tip to meniscus. This may be achieved by opening the tap and allowing some of the hydrochloric acid to drain out and in so doing, displace any trapped air. Rinse at 25 cubic centimeters pipette with a little of the sodium carbonate solution and using a pipette filler, measure 25 cubic centimeter of the 0 0.05 molar sodium carbonate solution into the pipette and transfer to a 250 cubic centimeter Erlenmeyer flask. Add two drops of screened methyl orange indicator solution and make a note of the initial burette reading. Titrate the sodium carbonate solution with the hydrochloric acid by running small amounts of acid out of the burette into the Erlenmeyer flask, shaking after each addition until the indicator changes color from green to gray. Repeat the titration with further 25 cubic centimeter aliquots of the carbonate solution until two concordant readings are obtained. If concordant readings are not obtained, readings which agree to within plus or minus 0.1 cubic centimeters or three readings which do not show any trend in values up or down will be accepted. For manipulation of the barrette, seven marks will be awarded for keeping the burette vertical during filling and reading, ensuring there is a continuous column of liquid from the tip of the burette, which means no air bubbles, reading taken at eye level to avoid parallax errors, correct manipulation of tap during titration, conditioning of the burette before titration, initial reading not equal to zero, Removal of the funnel before taking initial reading. For manipulation of the pipette and the pipette filler, six marks will be awarded for correct use of the pipette filler, keeping the tip of the pipette well submerged during filling, eyes at the same level as graduation mark to avoid parallax errors, rinsing the pipette with distilled water before using, Correct extraction of hanging drops. Conditioning of the pipette prior to use. Two additional marks are awarded for swirling of the Erlenmeyer flask during titration to ensure complete mixing of the titrant and titrant. Washing down the sides of the titration flask during titration and especially near to the end point. 13 marks are awarded for analysis and interpretation. Four, calculation of the number of moles of sodium carbonate in pipette volume. Writing balanced equation including state symbols for the reaction. Deduction of the mole ratio between sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Calculation of the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in endpoint volume. Calculation of the molarity of hydrochloric acid. Correct number of significant figures used in answer. For discussion. Brief explanation of titrimetry. Sources of errors that may have impacted on accuracy. Any two scientifically sound examples. Limitations or precautions. One reasonable suggestion of a way the laboratory exercise may be improved to increase accuracy or to overcome limitations. 